Magandang araw sa lahat and once again, welcome to our review for board exam. We are doing the fourth part of our psychological assessment review today and we will have 15 questions for this session. And I am ready when you are. Let's start! Psychological Assessment Review Questions Number 1. Today, the Stanford Binet IQ Test is A. Non-standardized measure B. A standardized measure C. A projective measure D. B and C Number 2. IQ stands for Intelligence Quotient, which is expressed by Letter A, CA over MA times 100. Letter B, MA over CA times 50. Letter C, MA over CA times 50. Or letter D, MA over CA times 100. Number 3, the Binet Stress Age-Related Task Utilizing this method a 9-year-old task would be one which A. Only a 10-year-old child could answer B. Only an 8-year-old child could answer C. 50% of the 9-year-olds could answer correctly Or D. 75% of 9-year-olds could answer correctly Number 4 Simon and Binet pioneered the first IQ test Around 1905, the test was created to A. Assess high school senior in America B. Assess U.S. military recruits C. Discriminate normal from retarded Parisian children or D. Measure genius in the college population Number 5. Today, the Stanford Binet is used from ages 2 to adulthood the IQ formula has been replaced by the A. SAS B. SUDS C. Entropy or D. ACPA Number 6. Most experts would agree that the Weschler's IQ test gained popularity as the Binet, letter A, must be administered in a group. B. Favored the geriatric population. C. Didn't seem to be the best test for adults. Or D. Was biased towards women. Number 7. The best IQ test for a 20 year old single male would be the A. WPPSI3, B. WAIS3, or C. WISC4. Or D. Computer-based testing Number 8 The best intelligence test for a 6th grade girl would be the A. WPPSI3 B. WAIS3 Letter C. WISC4 Or D. Merrill Palmer Number 9 the best intelligence test for a kindergarten would be the A. WPPSI3 B. WAIS3 C. WISC4 or D. Myers-Briggs Type Indicator Number 10. The mean of the Westler and the Binet is blank and the standard deviation is A. 100 and 100 B 115 for Westler and 16 for Binet C 120 or D 101 Number 11 Group IQ tests like the Otis Lennon, the Lord Thorndike, and the California Test of Mental Abilities are popular in school setting. The advantage is that A Group tests are quicker to administer. B. Group tests are superior form 
in terms of predicting school performance. C. Group tests always have a higher degree of reliability. Or D. Individual IQ tests are not appropriate for school children. Number 12. The group IQ test movement began A. In 1905 B. With the work of Binet C. With the Army Alpha and Army Beta in the First World War or letter D, with the AGCT in the Second World War. Number 13. In a culture fair test, A. Items are known to the subject regardless of his or her culture. B. The test is not standardized. C. Culture free items cannot be utilized. Or D. African Americans generally score higher than white. Number 14. The black versus white IQ controversy was sparked mainly by the 1969 article written by A. John Ertl, B. Raymond Cattell, C. Arthur Jensen, or D. Robert Williams. Number 15. The MMPI 2 is A. An IQ test, B. A neurological test. C. A projective personality test or D. A standardized test. And let's now proceed to answers and explanation. Number 1. Today, the Stanford Binet IQ test is. The answer is letter B. A standardized measure. The Stanford Binet is standardized because the scoring and administration procedures are formal and well delineated. Measures which are not standardized like choice A lack procedural guidelines for scoring or administration and do not include quantitative information related to standards of performance. Number 2. IQ stands for the intelligence quotient which is expressed by the answer is letter B. The test is Binet's, but the most for famous formula was created by the German Wilhelm Stern. The formula produced what is known as a ratio IQ today. A deviation IQ is utilized which compares the individual to a norm, like the person is compared to other in his or her group age. Thus, the present score indicates deviation from the norm. Although we still use the term IQ, the Binet today actually relies on a standardized age score, SAS, with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 16. The Binet stress age-related task utilizing this method, a 9-year-old task will be one which, the answer is letter C. 50% of the 9-year-olds could answer correctly. A 9-year-old task was defined as one in which one half of the 9-year-olds tested could answer successfully. Number 4. Simon and Binet pioneered the first IQ test around 1905. The test was created too. And the answer is letter C. Discriminate normal from retarded Parisian children. The Minister of Public Instruction from the Paris schools wanted to test to identify mentally retarded children so that they could be taught separately. The assumption was made that intelligence was basically the ability to understand school-related material. In this regard, the choice D, some experts believe that Westlers is a better test for those who fall in the average range while the Stanford Binet is more accurate for assessing extremes of intellect. Number five, today the Stanford Binet is used from ages two to adulthood. The IQ formula has been replaced by the, and the answer is letter A, SAS. Although we still use the term IQ, the Binet today actually relies on a standard age score, SAS, with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 16. Number six, 
most experts would agree that Wessler's IQ test gained popularity as the Binet? And the answer is letter C. Didn't seem to be the best test for adults. Choice A is incorrect. Both the Binet and the Wessler's are individual tests which require specific training beyond the required for a group IQ test. David Wessler's felt the Binet was slanted towards Berber skill and thus he added performance skills to a certain attributes which might have been cultivated in the background which did not stress verbal proficiency. The Wessler's yield a verbal IQ, performance IQ, and a full-scale IQ. The Waze 3 has seven verbal scales and seven performance scales. Number seven, the best IQ for a 20-year-old single male would be the, and the answer is letter B, Waze 3. Choice A, the WIPC or the Westler's Preschool and Primary Scale of Intelligence is suitable for ages 2 to 6 months to 7 to 3, year, three months. Choice B, the Westler's Adult Intelligence Scale is intended for ages 16 and beyond. Choice C, the Westler's Intelligence Scale for Children is appropriate for 6 to 16 years, 11 months. And choice D is in indicative of a paper and pencil test that has been modified so that the client can take the test via computer. Number eight, the best intelligence test for the sixth grade girl would be the, and the answer is letter C. Number nine, the best intelligence test for kindergarten would be the, and the answer is the WIPC 3. Since the child most likely would be between 3 to 7 years of age and 3 months, the WIPC would be the only possible choice. Choice D, the MBTI, is based on Carl Jung's analytic psychology. The MBTI uses the dichotomous types, the test results in a four-letter type score such as ISFJ, introversion, sensing, feeling, judging. We have to take note that intuition though it begins with an I, is coded an N, since introversion begins with an I. Important exam hint, don't forget this. When a test is guided via a theory, it is known as a theory-based test or inventory. Number 10, the mean of the Wessler and Binet is black, and the standard deviation is black. And the answer is... Letter B, 100, 15 for Wessler, and 16 for Stanford Binet. IQs above 100 are above average, and those shy of 100 are below average. Number 11, group IQ tests like the Otis Lennon and the Lord Thorndike and California test of mental abilities are popular in school settings. The advantage is that, and the answer is, Letter A, group tests are quicker to administer. The First World War provided the impetus for the group testing movement. Approximately 2 million men were tested using the Army Alpha for literate and Army Beta for illiterate and those from other countries. The catch is that the group tests are less inaccurate or I mean the group tests are less accurate and have low reliability. Number 12, the group IQ test movement began. And the answer is letter C, with the Army Alpha and Army Beta in the First World War. We have to take note of the word group testing. Okay? Number 13, in a culture fair test, the answer is letter A, items are known to the subject regardless of his or her culture. The culture fair test attempts to expunge items which would be known only to an individual due to his or her background. The key is that ethics now consider it unethical to administer a test to a client from a given population unless that the test or inventory has been normed on that specific population.
Number 14. The black versus white IQ controversy was sparked mainly by a 1969 article written by, and the answer is, Arthur Jensen. John Ertl claimed he invented an electronic machine to analyze neural efficiency and take the place of the paper and pencil IQ test. The device relies on a computer, an EEG, a strobe light, and an electrode helmet. Jensen sparked tremendous controversy, actually that's putting it mildly, when he suggested that 1969 Harvard Educational Review article, How Much Can We Boost IQ and Scholastic Performance? That the closer people are genetically, the more alike their IQ scores will be. And number 15, the MMPI-2 is, and the answer is, a standardized personality test. The original version of this instrument was created in 1940. The Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory 2, the current version since 1989, is known as a self-report personality inventory. The new MMPI, designated via the version 2, is intended to help clinicians diagnose and treat patients. The test is said to have retained the best factors of the MMPI while updating the test and eliminating sexist wording. I hope you learned something new for today. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para ma-update kayo sa ating mga drills. Keep safe and have a nice day.